Once again, the A's lack offense. They lose to the Baltimore Orioles by an 8-4 to four final score. And, I mean, the A's didn't start scoring until the end of the game. They were down 8-0 at one point. And, I mean, they kind of cut their lead in half. I mean, 8-4 to four is better than 8 to nothing, But still, their pitching lacked a lot, too. Uh, starting pitcher was Jesus Lazardo, and he did not do that well. Um, and J.B. Wendell can struggle at, as he has a lot once again. So let's get into this. Game was in Oakland, game two of the series. Um, Austin Hayes uh, got the first RBI of the game. Um, it was three to nothing in the third. Uh, they just scored three on a single, which was kind of crazy to think about. There was a bad throw to third um, coming in in the infield, and the Orioles took advantage and scored. Just not a good game. To, not a good way to start. Um, Luzardo struggled a lot. Um, then Trey Manzini got an RBI single. Probably shouldn't have even been a single because Elvis Andrews is playing not that well at defense. And the Orioles went up 4 to nothing in the third at that point. Um, then Mountcastle in, in the um, in the third made it 5 nothing on a sacrifice fly. It was a really nice catch by Canna, but he wasn't fast enough in terms of you know getting the ball in the infield, which is understandable. But the Orioles just went up 5 nothing. And at that point, I mean, it's hard for us to come back for that, even though the A's are pretty good at coming back. Franco uh, scored on a wild pitch. Uh, Freddie Gavis was at bat, Galvis was at bat. Um, that made it 6-0 Baltimore. Then, to cap off their runs, DJ Stewart got a two-run homer. That was off J.B. Wendelkin, deep to right field. It was gone, and the Orioles went up 8-0. Seth Brown got an RBI double, which got the A's on the board in the sixth inning down the right field line. He's been pretty consistent. Tony Kemp got an RBI single in the sixth, made it 6-2. to two. Um, Canna got a solo homer in the seventh, 8-3. to three. So, I mean, the A's kind of came back a little bit. But, like I said, it's going to be hard to come back from an 8-0 lead, especially in the late innings. Ramon Laureano, who's been stellar these past, you know, pretty much the whole season, actually, got a solo homer to left center putting the A's at four runs, but Dylan Tate for the Orioles closed the door on them and the A's lost by a final score of eight to four. And I mean, we got to change right now. Um, we were on a huge win streak. Then we start not scoring runs, even against Tampa. We beat them twice, right? Against the Tampa Bay Rays, we still failed to score a lot of runs. And that's what's going on now. I mean, four runs isn't terrible, but when you're down 8-0, it literally doesn't even matter. So, yeah, that's got to change. Um, the A's had RBIs from Canna, Loriano, and Brown, and Tony Kemp, which was good. But their pitchers, like I said, struggled. Gaduan and um, Sergio Romo did pretty good. Uh, so did Guerra. But Wendelkin and Lazardo struggled. And I'm worried about Lazardo because he's been kind of inconsistent. And he's supposed to be, like, this huge talent. He's very young still. Um only in his second, you know, full season right now. So, I mean, it's it's definitely something we got to turn around right now. Um, and the pitching for uh, the Baltimore Orioles was pretty good. I mean, Matt Ar Harvey, uh, the veteran starting pitcher, allowed two runs. Uh, Solcer allowed one. And Tate, obviously their closer, allowed one. Um, but, I mean, we just, we got to at least get one tomorrow. You already lost this series, which kind of sucks because the Orioles are not good. Um... And I mean, we're still first in the AL West, but we're literally only a half of a game in front of the Mariners and Astros, who are both 15 and 12. And they're both, you know, performing pretty well right now. So we got to score more runs and our pitching has to back up those hitters when the hitters aren't able to drive in runs. Because, I mean, both things are struggling right now and we got to at least fix one, if not both. So, I mean, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. I mean, the A's, I think we're going to play the Orioles one more time tomorrow. And then the Blue Jays for a three-game series, four-game series. And they're doing well. So, I mean, we got to win some of these. Um, but, yeah, final score was eight for the Orioles, four for the A's. They struggled a lot. Um, and, yeah, go A's.